Manchester United Chief Woodward dictates the club's transfer policy and has done ever since Sir Alex Ferguson walked away from Old Trafford in 2013. The Red Devils have one of the biggest budgets in world football and, in recent years, have not hesitated to fork out. Paul Pogba was Manchester United's record signing in 2016, with his £89 million fee usurping the £56 million the Red Devils paid for Angel Di Maria two years previously. United have also shelled out a massive £75 million on Romelu Lukaku. And Alexis Sanchez has not come cheap either, with the forward currently earning a massive £500 a week. United have, so far though, stopped short of the £100 million mark. Woodward has an eye for a Galactico and, in the summer, it was claimed he was ready to pursue deals for either Neymar, Kylian Mbappe or Gareth Bale. All three players would have cost over £100 million, and the Manchester Evening News say Woodward would be willing to spend that amount on one player should the opportunity arise. Man UTD Transfer News, Ed Woodward is prepared to spend £100 million, image, Getty, Man UTD Transfer News, Ed Woodward was willing to go after Neymar or Kylian Mbappe, image, Getty, but, instead of a forward, a defender remains the dream target. United have interest in Real Madrid's Rafael Varane but the chances of Los Blancos selling appear remote. One defender who fits Woodward's view is Napoli's Kalidou Koulibaly. But United are still not expected to spend money on a new centre-back while their managerial situation is so unclear. Man UTD Transfer News, Ed Woodward would fork out for a player like Khalidou Koulibaly, image, Getty. Meanwhile, it was recently claimed by University of Liverpool lecturer Kieran Maguire that United owe £258 million for previous transfer deals. Manchester United may have to sell Rojo. A few others before signing a decent centre-back, he tweeted, because the club already owes over £258 million to other clubs for previous transfer